Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Okay, this all went on while I was sick, but I still wanted to do a quick video on it because I wanted to touch, you guys know I love Piers Morgan, and I am so excited that he won against Princess Pinocchio and uh, her crappy husband. So let's just take a quick look at that, shall we? Let's go. You guys know that I love Piers Morgan. You know that. You know that one of the reasons why I love Piers Morgan is because Piers says it like it is. He doesn't mince words. If he thinks you suck, you suck. And he'll say it. So back in March, I did a video called Poor Piers. We discussed back then what happened when Harry and Meghan's Oprah show came on. And Piers said, I don't believe what Meghan said. And as it turned out, he was absolutely right not to believe her. Like 17 claims that she made, 15 of them were proven to be out and out lies. And so he said, you know what? I don't believe her. I don't believe she was suicidal. I mean, she lied about everything else. And that is his right not to believe her. You guys know how Megan is. How dare you not believe her? You're not allowed to not believe her. Anything she says. And how many times has she said, I got a standing ovation for this, and then the video came out that it was a lie. And then she said, I, we were married in our backyard three days earlier. And then when the Archbishop of Canterbury came out and said that wasn't true, then she and Harry put out a statement, no, they were not married three days earlier. I mean, she was. she's just been proven to be a liar over and over again. But Meghan Markle actually lodged a complaint, how dare you not believe me? We all know about that. We all know what happened. So all I want to say is, go Piers, because he won his Ofcom complaint over Megan. That's right. It's been proven that he has the right to have an opinion. He has the right to not believe her. I mean, listen, it's this ability of free speech that even allowed those two grifters to go on Oprah and say all those lies because you have free speech. Well, guess what? So does the rest of the world. Go Piers. I am so proud of you, Piers, for standing up for what you believe in and for winning. And now, though, believe it or not, there's talk that Megan might sue him for not believing her. Can you guys believe that? But before we get into that, I just want to say I love Piers' statement. He has, he's delighted that he has been endorsed to have his right to disbelieve their claims to Oprah Winfrey, many of which have been proven to be untrue. And this is a resounding victory for free speech. So yes, now the word is out that Megan wants to sue Piers Morgan. I cannot imagine. I, I, yes, I can imagine she wants to sue him. But my question is why? What are you going to sue him for? For having an opinion? All I want to say to that is she might want to think twice because if she sues Piers Morgan for having an opinion, she's going to open the floodgates to people who don't like her suing her for things that she said that have proven beyond a doubt to be untrue. Oh, that could be interesting. So what do you guys think about the fact that Piers won? I, I think it's a resounding victory for free speech. I think Harry and Meghan have been trying to stop anybody from saying anything anti Harry and Meghan and pointing out that they're liars, which has been pointed out how many times now? Okay, don't forget to leave your comments below. You know I love to read them. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter. Don't forget you can email me. Don't forget about that coffee fund. And as always, you guys, have a great day.